Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Neil here with Gadget Hacks. One of the most frequently asked questions that we receive here at Gadget Hacks, either on our videos or in our guides, is typically requesting our wallpapers. Now, more often than not, our wallpapers come from dedicated wallpaper applications. So, since you guys asked for it, we're going to give it to you and we're going to show you some of our favorite wallpaper applications for your Android device. The first application we'll be going over is fairly popular and you may have heard of it already if you're not using it yet. It's called Muse and what it does is change your background daily to a different popular piece of artwork or masterpiece if you want to say so. All you do is sit as your wallpaper and it'll apply it with a subtle blur that accentuates your icons and really makes them pop on the home screen. And if you check out the guide over at Gadget Hacks, you'll find that you can add extensions and different sources for the images in case you don't want those pieces of art as your background image. But it will still be applied with a subtle blur that you can then go in the application and adjust if you need to do so. Next on the list is Polygen. Now Polygen is cool. It lets you generate some unique polygon shaped patterns, which you can customize and adjust with the preferences. So you can just select the type of effect you want. You can choose um, up to, I think, what is it? Five different colors, apply them. Now this one might look pretty ugly since I'm doing it at random. You don't have to choose five. You can choose which way the pattern will flow. Let's just go vertical. You can adjust the contrast. You can even add an image and get a polygon effect added to it. We'll go over that in a bit. But you can then apply it, check it out, and then you can go ahead and set it as your wallpaper to get a better look at it. So these colors are actually not that ugly. It's pretty cool looking. And as mentioned, you can select an image and add the polygon effect to it. I'm gonna select um, medium cell size. So that kind of made it look weird. Let's go to small, it might be a little bit more detailed. And then again, I can just go ahead and apply this to my background. Trust me, I know the name isn't that cool, but Hipster is a very cool wallpaper application. What Hipster essentially does is provide you with some beautiful imagery as the background, then places a random shape over it that includes a filter. Now on the free version, you're allowed to cycle through some randomly generated patterns and images, but if you do end up paying for it, you can customize the background image and the shape placed over it, as well as the filter provided in that particular shape. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and edit the shape I want, and then I can go ahead and hit filters, or I can even add some effects to it as well. Like the image going upside down, different things like that. Granted that your background will look like an Urban Outfitters ad, I do appreciate that it's different than other wallpaper applications. And once you do cycle through the one you like, all you have to do is go home. You don't even need to hit an apply option or anything. And when you do decide to change it again, just double tap on it and you can start cycling through and then just go home. So for the fact that it's just different and unique and it does provide some cool images sometimes, I definitely like this application. So if you like your wallpaper changing periodically, then definitely try out 500 Fire Paper. Now you can select the intervals that it changes as well as the categories of images it cycles through. You can select from five minute intervals to even every 30 seconds, every time you go home, or just every 24 hours. Now the purpose of this application was to definitely try to save battery as there's other live wallpapers that can do this. So this one definitely tries to save your battery. Once you do set it as your live wallpaper, if you want to change it before the interval is up, there's this triple tap action that will change it on the spot. So you can just cycle through all of them that you decided to include. Minima Live Wallpapers is another personal favorite that provides you with enough material design that your device can handle. There's a bunch of free patterns that you can choose from, though there are pro ones that will need an upgrade but there tends to be enough to satisfy me with just the free version. As you can see, there's a bunch of different designs and different patterns, which I definitely like. Here, let's go with this one. If you go to the settings, you can actually adjust the colors to your liking if you're not happy with the standard color provided. So let's just make this red just for the sake of this. And it's also a live wallpaper as mentioned, so when you move your device, the shapes do shift a little bit. 
Comic Wallpapers is one that I feel should have more downloads, but I feel doesn't because of how hard it is to find on the Google Play Store, unless you put quotes around Comic Wallpapers. But what I like about it is that it updates frequently with newer artwork all the time straight out of your favorite comic books. You can also search by character ranging from Marvel to DC. Obviously there's tons of Batman artwork you can choose from, and you don't even need to look on the internet for the photos cropped perfectly or resized to fit your device. And they're also good quality, all you need to do is kind of just put it where you want it, then just go ahead and set it as your wallpaper. You can even download the image if you want to keep it on your device. If you want a smartphone and you're a comic book fan, you should definitely try this one out because I feel that it's better than the alternative ones that I've tried using out there. It even has this unique Joker design that was banned from the cover of one of the DC comic books. This list was in no particular order, but I did leave my personal favorite for last, which is called Wall Rocks. The reason I like this one so much is because of the variety it offers. Also the interface, as you'll see, is really awesome and extremely easy to use. Um, you can uh, navigate through all, newly added, and then all the categories which range from black and white all the way to minimal. Now as you see, the, as I mentioned, the interface is really cool and you can adjust it in a lot of ways. If I just want to show one at a time, you can do that, but let's maximize our time and do that one. Also when you do set on image, you just tap on it and then you tap this button right here and you can quickly apply it, you can crop and apply, you can save it. And it's just really easy and definitely had the user experience in mind when they created it. So those are just some of our favorite wallpaper applications. Definitely try them out, especially if you're looking to add some flair and just spruce up the look of your device. Check out the full guide over at GadgetHacks.com if you want download links and additional information. Also don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more GadgetHack videos. Thanks guys.